Hi guys, what's up? Tim Queen here. And today we're going to talk about what happens when too many people mark your invitations on LinkedIn as spam. Why would anyone ever mark your invitation as spam? The reason is very simple. They don't know you and you look suspicious. It's just those two factors. They don't know you and you look suspicious. Suspicious, like someone who will send them sales messages, someone who will annoy them, someone who wants something from them, someone who will spam them with sales calls, sales messages, and also like someone who is not really relevant in any form or circumstance. So if you are completely random, you're living in a different country, um, there is no industry overlap, you might have a different language, and there is no way where you know this person, you don't remember their name or their face or nothing, and nothing makes sense to them, then people will often report your profile as spam. Or they will, more precisely, it's actually called, I don't know this person. Now, what happens is that if enough people click on that button, you will not be able to send any more connection requests. And that's one of the reasons why LinkedIn automation tool just don't work. Because a lot of people will press this button if you are going out and you're sending connection requests, especially if they're like salesy and they contain some form of URL or sales pitch in their invitation message. A lot of people will click the I don't know button and then just after like a few weeks, you get enough penalty points where people just click, I don't know this person, I don't know this person. And then you will not be able to send any more messages and you are on the verge of getting totally banned on LinkedIn. So this is really, really bad. I highly recommend to only connect with people you actually know or who would instantly see the benefit of connecting with you when they check out your profile. When they click on your profile, it should instantly make sense. Hey, there could be some form of interesting collaboration. This person might be able to help me in my business. I might want to interview this person. Whatever your business is, it should make sense. And I should feel, hey, this is someone I would want to be connected with. It would totally make sense if I met this person in real life to be connected to this person. So yeah, if you are getting too many of those messages, you first will lose your ability to send out further invitations and you might get eventually blocked. Now, if you want to learn what you should do instead, if you want to grow a business on LinkedIn without getting blocked, without getting limited, then check out my LinkedIn Accelerator program, which teaches you my complete A to Z system, how to build a complete LinkedIn lead generation funnel with content marketing on LinkedIn. And also make sure that you hit the subscribe button, turn the notification bell on, and I see you in the next one. Bye.